Hi everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. So it's been so long. I've just been sorting my head out and stuff like that. It's been a, it's been a tough few weeks. If you follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, you'll know why, but I'm not going to explain this video. So, today, I thought I'd do my favourite things, like my favourite apps, favourite songs, favourite TV shows, favourite YouTubers, favourite artists, favourite movies, favourite series. I think you'll list them. And I want you to comment below what your favourite movies are, favourite apps, favourite YouTubers, favourite artists, like singers. Favourite things are down below, and re reply to every comment after this video as well. So make sure you drop a comment, and I will be replying. So, let's get started. <laughs> so, my favourite song, my favourite, sorry, my favourite top three songs, that's got to be How's On Fire by Mimi Webb, because Mimi Webb, Mimi Webb, sorry, is just, at the moment, is just amazing. She just, she is going to blow up this year, I reckon. She's just so vibing. She's just so vibey. Like, her songs are like a vibe, and I just vibe them a lot. And next up for that, has got to be, um, she got off by Taylor Swift. That's quite a good one, but to be fair, that one is just a bop. Like, she get off, uh, uh, she get off. So that's a good one as well. And my final one, it's got to be um, Paradise with Coldplay because that's like a sad one, but like a bop. Like, it has a nice bop to it, but it's a sad song, you know what I mean? Like, it's about other things. So, if that's a song, let's drop your songs below. What are your favourite songs? Are top three songs? Favourite apps now. This one is quite difficult because I have a lot, quite a few of these. So my favourite one is obviously Snapchat because I use that daily. Update my fans on my life. Like, post stories, post full interactive things. Post pictures of me, what I'm doing in my life and everything. So that's quite a good one. So. Yeah. <laughs> so. Snapchat's got to be number one. Um, next one, it's got to be TikTok. I know it's not, should be top one because I'm like popular now, but TikTok, the videos is just getting better. I'm grow I'm getting loads of likes these days as well, which is not like me. Like I'm posting like trends at the moment. If you haven't seen that, make sure you follow it here. Um, I'll put a link in the description for it because I'm going to change the name soon. So it's going to be, if I say to follow it and to my name wrong, it's going to be quite difficult. Because I update my fans there quite regularly, everyone's so nice on there sometimes, you know, you get the odd haters, but you've got to ignore them. And then, another one, my favourite is Netflix, because there's so many good movies in there and series and stuff. Like, you never run out of things to watch, if you understand me. Like, oh my gosh, Netflix just got so much choice. It's for everyone, really. You feel like horror, comedy, TV series, it's just everybody, it's for everybody, that one. So Netflix is good. Along with Disney Plus, that's quite good if you're a Disney fan. And Marvel and stuff like that, that's a good one. So, now to move on to my favourite YouTubers. They've got to be Casey, J Conda and Dad Figure. They're the same family, but they're different. They're like different parts. Dad Figure is just so fun and interactive. They always have a laugh in the videos. Like, the favourite type of videos they do is who the last to leave the room. Like, if, if you leave the room, you're out of the game. I think they're because if you're in a room, and it gets like crowded and you get like crowd space, it's quite hard to. So that's one of my favourites. Katie J is just such a vibe. I keep saying that word, but yeah, she's a vibe, just she's sick. And she's just so pretty to watch as well. Like, she never makes a boring video. Well, I have just have girls, to be honest. They never make a boring video at all. Now, moving on to my favourite TV show. TV show, sorry. Um, it's got to be. At the moment, Ant and Dex, Saturday Night Takeaway. You watch that, it's always fun, you always have something to do. It's never like boring, you always have little challenges on it. Pranking the public, going to the audience, picking someone out and go, we know all about you, that's quite good that. Like, I'd love to be there and watch it one day live, well, that'd be quite awesome. Um, next one would be Britain's Got Talent. They've got so many talented people on that show. It's just beyond amazing. To be on that show and be in front of the judges, it's probably quite scary as well, so it's fun to watch people get confidence and then win it sometimes as well. So yeah. Moving on to a favourite movie or, and TV, or TV series. Um, my favourite movie at the moment has got to be Encanto on Disney+. Plus. If you haven't seen that, go and get a watch. It's like one of the best Disney movies in the like, past 10 years. It's like the song We Don't Talk About Bruno has blown up 
you haven't done that song yet, don't listen to it because you get addicted. <laughs> um, favourite TV series is Jack Whitehall, Travelling with My Father. He's just so funny and he just, his father doesn't get the latest things ever since, so he's just walking around there like everything. Do you know what I mean? It's just amazing. Obviously now we're going to your favourite artist, singers, you know what I mean? So, number one, Mimi, Mimi Webb. I'd love to go and see her perform live. That would be absolutely sensational. I wouldn't forget that night ever. Secondly is Little Mix. I'm seeing them next month in April in Liverpool. Can't wait for that. Um, yeah, seeing them live for the last time is going to be so difficult. I haven't seen them before, you see. So to get this, splitting up after this, so to go and see them would be an absolute dream. So I'm going to see them in April in Liverpool. Moving on to a favourite holiday we've been on now. This is just so hard to do. Every holiday I've been on is so good. Obviously Liverpool is one of them because it's not too far away and there's loads to do. So much to do there. Like, so much more than here. So much more food. Like KFC, TJ Fardy's. Oh my gosh, just the best. And like the vibe in there. Like, why do you say that word? But the vibe is just sensational. It's always the shopping centre Primark. Yep, send loads of money in there, record. I mean, if I'm in there, you don't get me out. <laughs> Um, Dubai as well, that's number, that's got to beat Liverpool though. It's, we went in February 2019 and it's just so hot. In February as well, like, you expect it to be cold but it's actually roasting hot. I was in their shorts, t-shirt in the water parks at 10 o'clock in the morning and it was like 30, 20 to 5, 30 degrees in the 10 o'clock in the morning. Never mind getting rid on the day. That's got to be a favourite one as well. Um, Port Mishro in Spain as well, that's a good theme park, Evergreen. Flamingo Land, that's a good one as well. Blackpool Pleasure Beach is an awesome one. Blackpool is just a good place. A good picture place, you want to take pictures and everything. So, yeah, Blackpool, Spain, Dubai. Go and visit places, guys, if you've got the money to go. Because honestly, you won't regret it. Um, moving on to. Um, what shall I do? My favourite. My favourite book. Now, I've got that, I'm just going to grab it for you now. My favourite book. It's not a book, but you'll now get it. Isn't it? It's my favourite book at the moment is this. It's not really a book, but you know what I mean. It's Jane Patisserie's bacon book. It's got loads of recipes inside it. Like, you can't go wrong with the recipe in here. You can go buy that on Amazon as well. I'll link the, I'll link, the link in the bio. It's got so much things you can make. I've made so much from this one. I messed up a few times, but I used to never make brownies very well, but after buying this book, it's amazing. By the way, it's not sponsored or, or affiliated with James Patisserie at all. Just let you know, just watch your book. So, thank you so much for watching, you guys. My favourite things, like... Now, I want you to drop your favourite things in the comments, like I said at the start. Like, and I'll reply to all the comments as well. I'll try and get through them all. Either after work tonight or something like that. So... Thank you so much for watching again, and I'll be back soon, hopefully. It won't be late for too long this time. If you've got any video suggestions as well, either DM me on Instagram at Owen Crompton Official, message me on Snapchat at Crompton O, or drop your comments below here of video suggestions. Like I say, thank you so much for the support last couple of weeks and everything, and I'll be back soon. Love you all so much, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out. See you later, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video.